It's been two years since the Great East Japan earthquake. The devastation of that disaster will linger for a lifetime, but there is also a spirit of moving forward. This week, we visit a unique exhibition, one dedicated to goods meant to be used in times of emergency. After a large-scale emergency, taking care of immediate needs like safety, food, and water quickly becomes a priority. Let's see how these new products meet those needs. Hi, this is the Earthquake Technology Expo at Pacifico Yokohama. Earthquakes are a fact of life here in Japan, and it's hard, if not impossible, to accept the potential destruction of your home. But here, it's a reality that has to be faced. Beyond that, the possibility of the disruption of utilities or even emergency medical services means that it's important to be prepared. The products and ideas on display here can prevent or reduce destruction of property, help you to survive, and almost as important, help to preserve a positive mental attitude in a difficult situation. So, let's get started. Minimizing the damage caused by earthquakes requires careful planning and preparation before they happen. On display here are many ideas and products developed in response to people's past experiences. Let's take a look at some of them. This frame system for wooden structures is designed to absorb the shaking caused by earthquakes. It does so using a series of diamond-shaped frames which are built into walls. This is a model of the damping mechanism which absorbs earthquake energy. Its most important element is this block of acrylic resin material which acts as the absorber. This is a demonstration of how the system absorbs energy. The material connecting the rods at the top of the structure on the right side is the same as that used in the damping mechanism. Being able to evacuate is very important in an earthquake situation, but you can't do that if the door is stuck shut. Well, here's a simple and effective solution to that very problem. This is a piece of low friction tape. The special material and shape are designed to make it easier to open doors which have become stuck. Let's see how it works. Here, the door frame is unwarped. Warping the frame's upper right side causes the door to become stuck. Next, the special tape is applied to the edge of the door and on the door frame. Now the door opens even when the frame is warped. Ensuring that the tape works correctly requires precise adjustments, so the work has to be done by a certified technician. Well, as you can see, I'm dressed up to fight fires. But this is no ordinary fire hose. It's specially designed to go places where ordinary fire hoses can't go. And it uses this pack on my back. So now, I'm gonna give it a try. When putting out fires in high-rise buildings, high-powered water jets can cause unnecessary damage. This system uses nozzle technology originally developed for snowmaking machines. Air and water are pumped through separate hoses and then mix in the nozzle. The result is a misty spray. This is a new type of partition designed for use at evacuation centers. It's made of a special cardboard, which is lightweight yet highly resistant to bending and compression. The board has a different structure than that of regular cardboard. Due to the material's strength, the partitions are freestanding and easy to assemble. The design even accommodates sliding doors like this one, which make it easier for people in evacuation centers to have some privacy. Just 10 square centimeters of the product that this room is made of can support over 600 kilograms. So it's really strong, and even I'm okay. Jumping up and down on the floor is no problem. I can also lean against the wall without worrying about breaking it. The floor can be raised higher and used as a bed. Another bonus is that the material has insulating properties. Using no gas and no electricity, it's possible to make a delicious looking meal like this one. Steaming hot food is exactly what people in disaster areas need. Let's see how it works. First, take out the bag. Then place the heat generating material inside and put the rice and other food on top. 
Place the bag inside the original box, which has an extra piece of cardboard at the bottom for insulation. Next, pour in the special heat generating solution. Then seal the bag closed. This traps in the steam, which continues to be generated for about 20 minutes. After it's done steaming, the bag is left to sit for another 10 minutes. Open and combine the separate packages of rice and beef with vegetables, and I have a nice steaming hot meal ready to eat. Mm. Not only is it warm, which is really important after you've been through a lot, it's really delicious. And I know I would be happy to have this if I were in a disaster situation. It's actually even good for everyday eating. Well, this looks like an ordinary plastic stool, but actually it's got a secret. It's kind of embarrassing though. Take a look. You can use it as a regular stool, but after a natural disaster, it can become an emergency toilet. Inside is a set containing a poncho for privacy, coagulating agents, and bags for the waste. The toilet is portable and easy to assemble, making it well-suited for placing in elevators and hotel rooms, as well as outside of tents. What can this be? Well, it's folded up, and to use it, I have to blow it up full of air. I guess it's a bit too small to be used as a pillow. But flip the switch on and it turns into an LED lantern. It's equipped with a solar cell which will last for a year even if used every day. It's waterproof, has two brightness levels, and it lasts from 6 to 12 hours. Honda's known for making small generators that can use various types of fuel. But there's also a need for generators to power more important things like traffic lights and infrastructure. And here's an answer to that problem. This emergency generator is designed mainly for powering traffic lights and railroad signals after disaster situations. It automatically powers up when it detects that a blackout has occurred, and then stops when the power comes back on. Some people even use it as a backup generator for their office equipment. It's equipped with an air-cooled diesel engine and can be run continuously up to about 25 hours. The semi-water resistant generator is one self-contained unit, which allows it to be used in various locations and weather conditions. For our last stop, we take a look at a compact vehicle designed for quick deployment to various sites. It belongs to a special category of light, or K cars, unique to Japan. The company sent its development team to actual disaster sites to test the vehicle's equipment and specifications. あの、when you live in an area prone to earthquakes, it's a good idea to be prepared. And the great products and ideas we've seen here today will surely help you do just that. However, nothing can prepare you emotionally for the real experience. Personally, I was here in Japan during the big quake of 2011. And of course, the earthquake itself was frightening. And the after effects, particularly the tsunami, were devastating. But what stays with me most was the amazing spirit of the Japanese people, their compassion and cooperation. All the people whose houses had been destroyed worked together to maintain a sense of community. 
And truly that can-do positive spirit is the best survival tool of all. Brian Hughes reporting. Thank you, Brian. You always hope that you will never find yourself in a disaster situation. But as we are so often reminded, disasters can and will occur. It only makes sense to prepare yourself as best as possible. Hopefully more products like those at the exhibition will be developed to help us through those times.